And if you've driven around in downtown Phoenix, you might have noticed a few buildings made out of shipping containers. This is a growing trend here in the Valley. Team 12's Brandon Hamilton talked with one of those designing and building firms. They're revolutionizing the style of construction. Welcome to the future of residential and commercial space. Grand Avenue in downtown Phoenix is home to the Containers on Main, an eight-unit residential community all made out of shipping containers. Also downtown is the Oscar, which is a mix of residential and office space. We have so many shipping containers sitting in ports, and they're relatively inexpensive, and they're great building blocks. What's cool is you are living in history. Even the markings on the floor show what your container was used for. And there's a few other great reasons behind living in one. First, energy efficiency. The way that we've insulated them, we're seeing a huge impact on electric bills and, and our residents obviously are loving that. You are also reusing instead of wasting containers that are no longer used. We're able then take that container upcycle and turn it into a house. And so we're able to really divert a lot of that from either landfill or a caustic recycling process. Stay tuned for new projects in the West Valley and Mesa, but in downtown Phoenix, construction is already underway through another developer on the Churchill at First and Garfield. The Churchill is made up of two bars, uh, four restaurants, retail, and, and a wine bar. And one retailer will be State 48, an Arizona apparel company. I can't wait to be a part of the local community that the Churchill will be. Um, all of us are very excited about it. Getting to know and work with new local businesses is always a very good thing for us. The Churchill is set to open this summer. So will this be a fad that comes and goes? It sure doesn't sound like it. It's been happening in, in Europe since the 70s. We're sitting on thousands of containers and so I don't see it going away anytime soon. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News.